All right, your first area and perimeter lesson. So this one may be some review, hopefully it will be, but maybe it's not. Either way is fine, but just know if it sounds familiar, that's because you probably have learned it in other grades. So the first thing we're gonna go over is area. If my thing wants to click, there we go. So area is the space that's occupied by a flat shape. So by a shape, on the ground, on the wall, that's flat, two-dimensional, and the space that's covered up by that, how can I measure that is what I'm trying to measure. Essentially, how many squares does it take to cover that shape? To find it, we can either count the squares if it's on a grid. Ugh, this pen. Okay, sorry guys. Let me try this again. Ah, much better. So if it's on a grid, we can count the squares or we can use the formula. Now make sure you write this on your notes page. If you need to pause it because I'm writing too fast, you can always do that. Formula. So the formula will vary based on the shape that we're doing. Sorry, you should be writing it, right? There you go. All right, so the formula will vary based on the shape we're doing. So if it's a square and a rectangle, that's one formula. We'll get into parallelograms, which can be different. Trapezoids can be different. Triangles, which we get to, will be different, have a different formula. So just keep in mind, that varies based on the shape. But for squares and rectangles, we need to do the length. So how long the shape is times the width. Now it doesn't matter which one you count as the length and which one you count as the width, since we're multiplying and you can multiply in any order. All right, again, make sure this is written on your paper. I'm gonna to go to the next slide, but if you need to pause this to write it, go ahead. All right, so here's an example. We have a rectangle and we do have a grid. So to figure out the area, I can count the squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Okay, so I know that area is 24, and then we would say square units. If we knew that it was inches, we could say square inches. If it was square centimeter, if it was centimeters, we could say square centimeters. So whatever units it's in. Again, make sure that you're doing these problems with me on your note paper. Now, the next example is not going to have a grid, so I'll show you how to use the formula. Because counting the squares is not always super efficient. What if it's 24 by 36? That's a lot of squares to count, so there's a more efficient way we can figure it out. So say it gives me the dimensions. I know this, usually consider that the length is 5 centimeters and the width is three centimeters. So, since it's a rectangle, I can just do the length times the width. I'm gonna pause. I wanna see if you can, on your paper, figure out what the answer is. Or if you need to pause it and figure it out, then play it when you've got it. All right, hopefully you did three times 5, which equals 15. And because we have centimeters, but we're trying to figure out how many squares it is, we say that it's square centimeters. Or sometimes we write that as centimeters with the little 2 that's talking about a squared symbol. All right? Because again, I'm thinking about if I imagined this being 3 squares this way, and five squares that way, it is 15 squares that that rectangle covers. 
Again, if you need to pause and copy, do that. Your notes should match what I write. All right, one more example for area. Notice it tells me that it's a square. And you might say, well, duh, Mrs. Morrison. But we have to be careful because sometimes they draw things not to scale. So it might look like it's a square when it's actually not. So we do need to look for some indication that it is what we think it is. In this case, it's a square. So we know this is going to be the same as this side. So we know if it's five centimeters this way, it's also gonna be five centimeters that way. So again, I can do length times width. Oh, I will have to fix my pen before the next video. And then length is five, width is five. I multiply that, I get 25 it's centimeters. So it's centimeters squared as my answer. Now on to some perimeter practice. And there we go. So the perimeter is the distance around the outside of the shape. And to find it, we just need to add, add the side length. We need to add all the side lengths. Even if some aren't written, we need to figure them out so that we can add them all together. Make sure you write that on your paper so you have something to look back at if you forget. Okay, they're going to be the same shapes because I can find the perimeter of the same shapes. So I'm going to, in this case, I'm just going to count how many are around the outside. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So twenty units, because we don't know what the unit is. So we know it's twenty units around, which would make sense if I know that six and four, which I can count and figure out. Six plus four plus six plus four equals 20. All right, a couple more examples. I want you to try and figure this out. See if you can figure out the perimeter of this one. All right, hopefully you figured it out. Pause it if you need to. So some people are tempted to just add five and three because that's what they can see. But remember, this is also a side length and this is also a side length. And I know that the opposite ones are equal because it's a rectangle. So I can do five plus three plus five plus three. Doesn't matter the order you add it. Some people like to say, okay, five plus five is 10, three plus three is six, 10 plus uh, six is 16. And then it's just distance, so it's just centimeters, not square centimeters. And then this last one again is a square, so I know all the sides are the same length. So I have five, 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 and five. I can either do five plus five plus five plus five. I could do five times four, okay, because it's a square. I can do it times four because there's four equal sides. Either way, I will get 20 centimeters as my perimeter for this example. All right. Hopefully your notes are complete. If not, go back and watch the video to fin finish them. Then you can do your practice worksheet and your exit slip to show that you understand. Let me know if you need help. Good luck.